What's up guys, Eric from Great Lakes RC, and we got another new addition. All right, this little truck is the high boxing item number 18859A. So uh, high boxing is a Amazon brand, and uh, shout out to uh, Troy at uh, Roadside RC. He's got a ton of videos on these uh, high boxing trucks, and the reason why I picked this one up is this is the... Uh, the upgraded one so full metal aluminum shocks metal drive shafts metal cups brushless motor they advertised about 30 miles an hour so uh, Amazon they go for about 140 bucks and they had a 30 off coupon plus I had some Amazon gift cards uh, so all told um, it was about a uh, hundred and 15 116 bucks after tax and uh, I had some gift cards so I didn't pay that so um, I'm into the uh, small cars right now uh, the driveway cars because it's winter time and uh, this is the second one that I've picked up so far this year but let's get into this one So they give you two bodies. Um, I'm not real big on this uh, purple pink one, um, but the, uh, the green one is what I'm gonna use. So it looks like there's a film on this, but this uh, green blue one's pretty cool. I like that. Styling is very reminiscent of the big boy X Max there. So let's look at what we get here. Yeah, oil fill shocks. He even has adjustable collars. That's pretty cool. I was not expecting to see adjustable collars on it. So that's going to help out. Comes with a battery already in it. Looks like it's a small Dean style LiPo. Uh, we got a uh, receiver and ESC in one. Um, servo. This is a normal three wire servo. Looks like that's the same size. It's a micro size. Um, so anything you could put in the uh, micro trucks and then uh, probably the mini T servo would fit in there. That's a decent servo. Looks like there's LED lights in the front. Really like the metal drive shafts, metal cups, metal drive shaft down the center. Yep, like to see that. It is Phillips hardware, but then you got the small brushless motor right there. That's a pretty nice looking little driveway truck right there. Really like that styling. Oh, cool. There's another battery in here. And that's a USB charger. And there's some spare body clips in there. Look at that. That's pretty cool. And these have the little uh, pull tabs on there, which is nice. Like that. Okay, so we've got steering trim, steering dual rate. And this says speed. I wonder what that is. If that's literally, you can turn the speed down. So I guess that could be cool. Um, for my son because this I mean if this actually goes 30 miles an hour might have to turn it down for him cheap radios this is the Maverick one very feels very extremely cheap similar trigger pull similar except there's no foam on this one this one has foam this one believe it or not was from min from the mini T which you would expect the Mini 2 is the most expensive of my small cars, 200 bucks. You'd expect a better radio. It has a foam wheel. Trigger's about the same. So of the three radios, this one definitely feels the cheapest toy grade-ish one. But I mean, if it does the job, it does the job. Quick overview of what you get. You get two bodies, you get two batteries, you get extra body clips. Oh, sweet, there is. I was hoping somewhere there would be some stickers so that you can uh, dress up the body a little bit. That's cool. 
manual. Oh, okay, good. I do see a parts list. So that's good. So they do have a parts list. Oh, good. And they have exploded views. Very good. Okay. Because the Ion had a terrible manual. Um, the Ion didn't have any of this stuff. It didn't have exploded views. It didn't have part numbers. I had to go online and download the, uh, the exploded views. So this is a pretty dang good manual, especially for a cheap car. And it looks like... Uh, Looks like they're, they've got all the parts listed. So here's all the driveway cars. Bigger than the Ion. Pretty much the size of the Mini T. And again, the uh, Latrax Teton. Same wheelbase. Teton sits up a lot higher. Looks like uh, it's a little, quite a bit wider with the tires. So there you go. This is uh, driveway car number four. And I still got one more to go. So we're going to have quite a little collection of driveway cars. Um, we'll compare it directly to the uh, Maverick here. So the Maverick is my most recent one. And when I compare these two, uh, the Maverick... It's all plastic, plastic drive shafts, everything. Um, they do have some metal on the uh, uppers and lowers of the shock caps. Other than that, everything else is plastic and it's brushed. And this was $94 Black Friday special. This was about 110 after you take the $30 coupon and you get metal drive shafts, metal cups, metal shocks, um, aluminum shocks, LED lights, and brushless. So when you're looking at value, if this one holds up the way I think it will, I think it might actually be a better value uh, than the Maverick. But I've been impressed with the Maverick so far after one run. I uh, really liked it. So I'm excited to get this one out. So we'll, uh, we'll do that pretty quickly. All right, here we go. The uh, radio has a massive delay. With a car this fast, that's a bad thing. Wow, that was nice. <laughs> it's got good speed. Whoa. Perfect little driveway speed. Oh, 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 oh. All right, let's fix this. Man, that jump's nice. Oh, 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 laying on its feet. Oh, yeah, that was a nice jump. Nice. Whoa, that thing takes off like a rocket with that brushless motor. Oh! <laughs> that was nice. Oh! Oh! Goes over the grass pretty good, actually. Yeah, it's uh, it's 
It's hard to control with this radio. Oh man. Yeah, I see it. Makes the steering hard. I don't know if it's the servo saver, the servo itself. All right, we're gonna call it good for first run with the high boxing, fully upgraded little RC car. I like it for driver ripping. I think it's nice and fast and pretty tough. Just gotta figure out the, uh, the radio. Catch you guys next time.